Have you ever really wanted to do something, like anything, but something was holding you back, like self-confidence, or you were worried about a, someone's opinion of you, or something like that, anything. Like, maybe you wanted to ask a girl out on a date, and you stopped yourself because you were worried that she might laugh at you, or you might get rejected, or your friends would laugh at you, just something that was holding you back. Or any regrets that, because you didn't do something, and you look back, and again, you think, why didn't I do that? Like, maybe you dropped out of a club, like karate. Do you remember going to karate? I do. I think a lot of people went to karate, and do you remember how, like, you'd start in, and it was fun, it was, and then you dropped out. Nobody really knows why. You don't really know why. You just couldn't be able to turn up that one Thursday night. It's a bit too cold for you. You didn't go the next Thursday. Oh, but you had homework. No, you didn't. You were year four. You just didn't want to go. And then you stopped going. You got your belt, you know, it was blue. I didn't get a blue one. I wasn't that good. I got a red one. Got that somewhere. Don't use it as a belt. I've got better belts than that now. A bit more expensive as well. But you stopped. You don't know why you stopped, but you didn't do it anymore. And you might regret that now because you might, you know, someone might touch shop. Cause uh, you get them, yeah. But you know, you know what I'm talking about. Everyone has to have that a regret. And my regret, it's it, it's not really a regret. It's something that I wish I'd done sooner. Is to express myself through a video on YouTube and to talk through my communication, through my voice, through my body expressions, for anything to someone that can watch and maybe talk to me back because it just feels more natural that way. Like, we, we most, most of us have Twitter, and Facebook and Tumblr and stuff. I don't use Facebook, you know. It's past its date. But on Twitter, I'm constantly typing on there, ranting, expressing my opinion, expressing my feelings. But it doesn't feel the same as me talking to you right now in a camera. This feels more natural. It, I'm not having to worry about, like, my grammar. Is there a full stop there? There's got to be a full stop there. Posture thing, and that you're, you are, you know, that sort of stuff. Or on Tumblr, you know, you're scrolling down and there's that image of a couple. What are they doing? Oh, my God, they're in black and white, but... That's, oh no, he's got a snapback on and she's wearing a YOLO top, it must be fine, it must be expressing themselves in black and white and that's Tumblr expression, I don't do that, you know, my Tumblr's pretty boring actually, put a picture of Boris Johnson on there today, you know, the one with his bicycle hat, I laughed at that, I'm pretty sure you did, Boris Johnson for president, uh, that's too late, four more years for Obama. But, so I wish I'd started this earlier. It's a better way to express myself than I could ever think of. I'm good with people, but nobody really listens. And maybe you're not listening. But I feel like, because nobody can go, nobody can interrupt me. I can interrupt myself, shut Pete. But I just feel this is more free flowing. And this feels comfortable, and this feels natural. And I'm just rolling with it, and it feels easy. So I just like to say hello, and I hope I get to speak to you again soon. Adios.